The GHS and CLP regulations use various symbols to identify the hazards that are posed by different chemicals. These are explosive, which confirms the container holds a potentially unstable explosive. Flammable, which indicates that the container holds either a flammable liquid, gas, solid or an aerosol. Oxidizing, which means the container holds either an oxidizing gas, liquid or solid. Gas under pressure, which indicates the container holds compressed, liquefied, refrigerated liquefied or dissolved gas. Environmental hazard, which means that the contents could be an acute or chronic hazard to the environment. Toxic, this warns that the contents are toxic when swallowed, breathed in or absorbed through the skin. This includes things like bleach or pesticides. Then there's very toxic substances, which can cause significant harm or even death, even if just a small amount enters the body. This includes things such as hydrogen sulfide, chlorine and sodium cyanide. Corrosive, which shows that the substance is both a physical hazard and a health hazard, which means it's corrosive to metals and skin. Corrosive substances such as bleaches and drain cleaners can also cause serious burns and eye damage. Health hazard, which means the substance can irritate the eyes or cause skin irritation, inflammation or dermatitis and serious health hazard, which indicates that the substance can be a breathing hazard or cause long-term health complications. Carcinogens, for example, can cause cancer they can come from diesel exhaust fumes or benzene found in paint and rubber. They're also found in chemicals like arsenic, which can be used in pesticides and car batteries. They're known as mutagens and can alter a person's DNA.